Hi everyone, today we are going to review the Kathmandu Retreat 150 module tent, the Retreat 150 series. It's a beautiful tent, we are a family of four here in the beautiful New Zealand Tapo, Lake Tapo. We spent two nights and three days in this beautiful surroundings. So today we'll talk a little bit about the tent. We are not professionals, but you know, this has done the job for us. We enjoyed our stay. Did you enjoy the stay, Avia? Yes. yes, so we enjoyed the stay. We had fun. So let me go around the tent. So it's a three bedroom tent, but we with the family of four, we lived nice and happily. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a one bedroom for three people. Like I said, we are not professionals in putting up the tent, but we managed to do that. It takes about an hour to put it up. So, uh, let's open it up to show what's inside. It's a one bedroom and one living room and a fair amount of area to do some little bit of cooking. Yeah, so it withstand and it kept us safe. Uh, so it, it rained quite a bit in the night and in the evening and did the job for us. It was pretty remarkable and that's what the Kathmandu quality reflects. So, so here's the one bedroom that we have. It can easily house three to four people. Uh, so this is the the mosquito net it goes all the way around like this feels like a Boeing 737 uh, with the exec class and the economy class in the living room it's quite nice interiors quite nice features there are a lot of pockets to put all your stuff all fly screens so like the one that you see this is the fly screen so you know there's an outer layering that goes up and then it acts as the, 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 day, the day window so this is the let me just go back so this is oh that's me yeah so that's the the sky the, the sunroof uh, it opens up I think I'll, I'll show you later the windows I've, I've shown them uh, this is again another sky net uh, another mosquito net a lot of hooks yes the lookout uh, so that's the shade this is the living room here's the little place for keeping all your uh, shoes and slippers flip-flops there's another area so that's the living room I was talking about. Now, just going about the instructions of setting it up. So it all comes in this bag. Bag uh, normally weighs around eight, eight kilos. Uh, so here are all the instructions. So you'll find all different color poles. You start with the black pole and then you take the, the, the gray pole and the red poles and you just follow the instructions it, it it would take about an hour all you need is a strong a good hammer and here are all the, the angled hooks the the strings are all in there in the tent so you first start with the base and then you go on on, on the second layer with the with the, with the second top yeah so you stretch these strings and then you hook them into the ground Yeah, so any questions, please like us, you know, comment there and we'll try to respond. But I think it's fairly straightforward and you're going to love it. So it costed around $850 New Zealand. Uh, that's the retail price in, in Kathmandu showrooms. Uh, depends on the retailers if you're able to get some good deals. Uh, it usually depends on the season. But yeah, it's all worth and it's, it's a... A beautiful stay for the four, four family of four so hope to see you guys again thank you cheers bye bye